I want you to be a witness and testify about all of Gary's illegal activities. Why me? Ms. Barnes, we know all about your relationship with Gary Marshall Borders. Even the property he purchased with illegal funds that is now in your name. Let's not act naive. Okay, I had nothing to do with any of his financial decisions. Okay, I well, just... You can either agree to work with us, or it may be hard to separate your deeply rooted ties. First of all, I think I pronounced the name Wyatt instead of a Special Agent Watt during my review. I apologize because I actually looked at the um, end credits. I swear the man, if I could get work done as fast as the end credits during a BET movie or show, <laughs> I'd be done in a flash. But regardless, yeah, Special Agent Josh Watt. I... Again, I have to praise the writers for this deep cut of a reference here. The fact that they pulled an obscure character who was only in one or two episodes of season two in the opening. Uh, what was it? The season two premiere. And I think it was an episode two. Either way, he was the agent that gave Andy a ride after Gary got arrested. And then he also showed up to get evidence at the law firm. And I also think he was at Andy's apartment after it had been, you know, um, basically taken by the government. So basically, him being back gives me hope my baby Jasmine might come back as well. So we know he's back because Gary's being investigated by the feds. I'm glad they brought that back up because I'm just like, season seven, around episode two or three, you have the law firm in a frenzy, Gary being investigated by the feds, but it didn't seem like the episodes that occurred after that truly felt like, okay, what went down with Gary had repercussions. So behind the scenes, we know, oh yeah, we have been getting together a plan to bring him down. Now, Andy, given how close you were to Gary, because we know all about your affiliation with him. We need you to be a test, you know, a witness to testify on the stand during the trial in order to take him down once and for all. Now, you can help us out or you can't or you decide you won't, but it's going to cost you because, you know, a lot of the things you have in your name now were gained through Gary's ill-gotten money. So in order to avoid, you know, going down with the ship, you help us out and we help you. Now you have Fatima who's telling Andy, I don't know if you want to trust the feds because you might end up incriminating yourself when you think you're doing something to clear your own name. So honestly, I think Andy kind of has to do it. In my personal opinion, I think I'm team Andy on this. I'm not saying what Fatima is saying isn't valid, but I mean, if the freaking, I mean, forget about Andy being a lawyer. Just think about yourself just an average everyday person who doesn't have a job in any sort of like um, in the legal world. So if somebody comes to you and I mean a legit person, not a scammer, but a legit person from the feds or the government, if they tell you like you need to do this, this and this, or you're going to be arrested or you go down or something. I mean, what are you really going to do? Because more often than not, you know, they say like, the feds, they know more about you than you know about yourself. And I mean, you're pretty much damned if you do, damned if you don't. So, I mean, what is Andy really supposed to do in this situation? You know, but like I said, I'm just impressed with the fact that the writers brought back such an obscure character for such an important plot point. So how do you think things are going to play out with Agent Wyatt? And it just makes you wonder later on in the season where we know that there's going to be the wedding between Andy and Gary why is that happening? Is it a Gary thing or is Andy just going along with it because it's an FBI thing? Could her getting married to Gary be a way for her to escape any sort of repercussions? I don't know. I don't know how the legal game works, but like I said, the fact that they brought this character back had me just, you know, wow, because I didn't know if he was going to be the same character or not, because in the promo, I'm like, that's the same actor from season two, but is he going to be the same character? Or is he going to be a different character? But with the hair and whatnot and the demeanor, he really reminds me of Donald from The Oval. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you think things are going to play out with Andy and the FBI agent? 
will she agree to be a witness? Or do you think if Gary finds out that he'll try to make her disappear too, so she won't run her mouth? So like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.